I've gone up here now and I've realised I forgot to bring some lights with me. I'm going to have to go down and get those. Hello, too many! Twitch has been ridiculous this evening. I have no idea what's going on with it. The only problem I need to work out is that one. I want to keep that ladder there. But I think I've got a solution to that. So we now have... Very nearly got all these platforms done. So yes, talking about uh, Team Tuxedo and the Arcadia world, which is now gone um, foom, unfortunately. We had to give up on it, so we've started a new world, which was the reason why I didn't post much last night, was I spent most of the night, uh, believe it or not, herding mushrooms. Because we found a mushroom island right at the start, and I thought, what the, uh, the world needs is mushroom soup. So I ended up herding a couple of mushrooms for about 500 blocks and it took me all night and it was really, really frustrating to do. So I will be putting up some videos soon of that, uh, the adventures of me with Mushalina and Bob. And what the new world looks like. And I'm going to be building a shopping mall in there which I thought was yeah something I've never ever done before and that's going to make a really really interesting and fun challenge I think right so let's go and get some lights might as well get those glowstone nooks as I've got them oh hello how did you get in here yeah, there's clearly some bits that weren't lit up well enough. Where's my nooks? If somebody tells me they're in the cranny, I shall be very offended. Where's my nooks? Ah, I had them all the time. Excellent. Okay. Get back up there. Right, and eventually the idea will be that the only place that uh, mobs can spawn is up here. So they will all spawn up here. And we will use that knowledge to... Uh, yeah, all the mob drops exactly where we want them. And let's eat some food. Right. Like that. So we're back to doing walls again, I'm afraid. But you see, there's two drop here, two space here that's going to give the mobs the space to, to drop, uh, to spawn. Um... They will be pretty much the only spaces on the island, um, and I'm going to try to make that happen as much as possible where mobs can spawn, so that's the only place they can go. And then the next thing is, the, the trick is to get them to fall into these dips here, and we'll use water to, to wash them into the centre, which is another reason why I don't want Endermen in here, because Endermen teleport when they touch water and that will leave us with endermen all over the island and that's going to get really annoying really really fast so let's make endermen spawning as hard as possible for them like that right. and now we're on the top level 
So, get that out, get my nooks. The nook in the corner there like that. We'll start illuminating this as we're going around. What am I doing for oak wood planks? I've got plenty of oak wood, not a problem. So yes, I will be building a shopping mall in this new world. Rather than having individual shops, I'm going to provide spaces for the shops. And they can decorate them out as they like. And I was thinking I'm going to make my spawn town inside the shopping mall, or rather above it. I'll make myself a little penthouse flat. And that's going to be where I live in this new world. Yeah, Simon... Uh, um... Simon, okay, I will be honest with you. Simon can never be bothered to change the title to the point where Simon is actually seriously thinking about appointing someone to do it for him. <laughs> I just... I would rather get on and play the games than change the titles. Um, so... Um, I hope you will forgive me for that. Right, let's get some lights up here. It's getting dark, and the last thing I want is mobs spawning right next to me. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking, to be honest with you. It's really stressful being up here. It's stressful to the point my arm is aching doing this. And one there. And one there. Yeah, that's illuminated things up a bit. We're less likely to get uh, mangled in our sleep. And... Let's get this stuff up here, and then we'll, we'll illuminate some more of it. I'm going to leave myself a place to get down, and it will be there. That way I'm not, I don't forget it and start cursing myself. Keep on accidentally double clicking, which is annoying. Oh, uh, yeah, the thing is that uh, Twitch actually does ask for the game it's playing and it does go into the search engine. I do occasionally get people turning up here that don't watch me on YouTube, which is nice. So it's it's actually good to have it. I'm just a bit lazy when it comes to actually uh, filling the thing out. I don't know. Perhaps I should employ an agent or something like that. Yes. Your job is to change the title on Twitch for me. Here's 10% of the, the nothing I make from doing it. don't think that's going to work somehow. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to be really glad when this is done. I mean, not only is it boring, I've done loads of them recently. Oh, uh... Hmm. See you in a bit. The thing is, this is going to be, I think, quite a large keystone in 
me getting resources in this world because the mobs are going to drop rotten flesh which I can turn into earth and earth I can turn into just about anything else um, all the metals all the stone uh, even the clay I've got so far has been has come from earth uh, string has its uses I can't think of any off the top of my head but I might end up doing lots of fishing um, uh, bones from skeletons is going to are going to be completely invaluable for automating farming uh, if I can have my if I can get myself easy access to stacks and stacks and stacks of bones then making bone meal is trivial and if bone, making bone meal is trivial, you can just start massively bone milling plants and there's your farm sorted out. So you want 10,000 wheat, you can do 10,000 wheat very easily. So th this is going to be completely integral as far as I can see to Don't talk about fences. <laughs> yes, I will be very grumpy at anyone who tells me off about fences today. I put them back. I even rebuilt Sarah's defenses that uh, the creeper blew up. I will be rather grumpy if you talk about fences. Right, there we go. Filled in at last. Now let's get this lit up and then let's just get out of here so one there one there I think we're going to need one there as well uh, let's just repeat that pattern around one there one there one there one in the middle. Let's just have a quick run around here. Let's just look at the light levels. Eleven, twelve, eleven, ten, ten, eleven. Yeah, that looks well lit. Don't ever want to come back up here again, so I'd rather overdo it than underdo it, to be totally honest with you. There we go. And um, one last one there. Okay, that looks like that is reasonably lit. Let's just check these slightly darker areas. Light level 9. Let's just be paranoid and put lots of these things down. There we go. Right. Get out of here. Never want to be up there again. So, let's put a block there. Seal that off. And let's get some lights in here because I don't want mobs spawning in here just yet. Oh, it's very atmospheric and claustrophobic in here, isn't it? Alright, okay. More carrot juice. Okay, and... Got the measurements slightly wrong on this corner by the looks of it. Just... Pretend I didn't see that and move along. Like that, okay, all right. But everything else is looking all right. Yep, that's looking good. one of those on there for a sec because I don't want this place to be too dark just have to remember to pick them up before we leave okay right now the next thing we need to do is make trapdoors oh, I'm sorry about that too many fandoms to be totally honest with you it's quarter past 11 so I'm going to be gone in three quarters an hour anyway uh, so at this point to be totally honest you're not going to be missing that much and anything you do miss I'll be putting up on YouTube anyway so let's make ourselves some trapdoors. Ah, oh, there's a case of question. Who knows the uh, British cartoon to the trapdoor?
because I've got the theme tune now going through my head. Let's use the oak if we can. Yeah, that should be enough. Welcome back Andy, hope you feel a little bit better. Right, so I'm going to try something here. We put one like that, and we put and we put a trapdoor on the trapdoor. We cannot put a trapdoor on the trapdoor, so I cannot do that. All right, okay, well, hmm. Oh, of course, there we go. There's a the solution. Put the trapdoor there. So I will have that trapdoor. <laughs> Don't you open that trapdoor? That's the one. Yes. There was a, a British cartoon back in the 80s called The Trapdoor. And now, for many, many, many years after that, whenever I hear the word trapdoor, I hear that song. Right, and what we're going to do now is we're going to put trapdoors all the way around these drops. Just like this. Put that there, and let's put that block light back just a little bit higher. That's such a useful bag. I don't believe it. I, I was scratching my head and puzzling how I was going to get enough lights for this episode. And all of a sudden, the game just gives them to me. And as I know those bags are random, that's quite good. Quite fantastic chance, to be honest with you. This is actually one of the biggest drains in wood making this is these trapdoors. The reason being for the reason for these trapdoors, by the way, is mobs can't tell the difference between that and that. So they spawn up here and they think they can actually walk onto this square because of the trapdoors like that, but they can't, so they fall in here. And then once they've fallen in here, we need to wash them into the centre. Like this. I'm sure there is a, a very, very good modded way of doing this, which I should have taken some time to look for, but uh, um, I just wanted to get this done, to be totally honest with you. So, nearly done. And then once this is done, all we need to do is get some water in here and then remove these lights and then effectively the job is done and as soon as I'm more than 20 blocks away from this place oh and make a hole in the middle as soon as I'm more than 20 blocks away from this place uh, it will be what the heck What the heck? See you later, too many fandoms. What on earth was that? That sounded like a zombie trying to break down a door. Yeah, I'd like to know that myself, to be totally honest with you. Let's make some more of these. Put 
We're starting to run out of wood here. But I think we're also starting to run out of need, so that's good. And there. We're done. Let's just give this a quick check. Need to do something about this hole, but what I'll do is I'll just fill that in as I go down. And. Yeah, got them all. Got them all. That's all right. Now, and now I need to go and get some water, and that's going to be a bit difficult because I only have the one bucket. So let's go and get a bucket of water, and then let's go and get another bucket of water. Uh, hmm, not liking this. All right, let's just get rid of that trapdoor altogether. <laughs> right. Right, you see what I see? Uh, at least he's washing himself out. No, he can't wash himself out. Right, we're going to have to deal with him. All right, plummet time. That was too much plummet. That was way too much plummet. Right, I'm getting in his house and hiding for a minute. And dying. Oh, no. Grab your stuff. Oh, that was close. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh, excellent. Okay, right. Right. You buggers are having it. Okay. Taking this lightly. Ah, oh, dear. Don't want to be too far away up there because from up there because I didn't light it up enough. I need to get back up there straight away. So I'm getting back up there straight away. Now where's my bucket? Ah. Oh. oh, that was stressful. Good bucket. Didn't put it in there. Did I put it in there? No, I didn't put it in there. Where's my bucket? We've got six clay on me, so I can make another one. I can't see it for looking. Uh... No, 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 no. Okay, let's make another one.